An ad hoc command is a way of executing an ansible task quickly from the command line. There are simple online operations that you can be run without writing a playbook. An ad hoc command are useful for quick tests and changes. For example, you can use an ad hoc command to make sure that a certain file exists, for example, in etc host file of, or a group of servers. In order to use ad hoc command, the pattern which you should follow is ansible minus m for module and then the module name, for example, the ping module. This module, the, the ping, is one of the simplest ad hoc commands and does not do an ICAP ping, but checks whether a Python interpreter is installed on the, on the client machine. For example, if I execute an Ansible ping command on my client's machines, I will check whether they have a Python interpreter installed so that I can execute Ansible commands on them. As you can see, the, the discover interpreter Python is listed here and the result is successful, uh, which is the one that we get if we have established a successful communication with a client's machine. In order to get a list of all modules installed on your system, you should use Ansible doc minus L. This Ansible, the Ansible doc command is very useful and you will need to use it many times during the exam in order to get the documentation for a particular module or plugin. For example, you can press Ansible doc and get information about the user module. Then you can just type the box class, which is the search command and search for examples with capital case. There you will find the examples of this particular module as listed from each documentation. This is a very useful uh, tool that you should use during the examination in order to get information about how to use the, the plugin if you don't remember the syntax or the arguments. Another example of a, an ad hoc ping command would be ansible minus m ping and I would ping all my hosts in order to get the communications result. For example, if we can connect to every host that is listed on my uh, inventory. As currently I have test host on my inventory, I get a lot of errors uh, executing this command. Most modules are independent, which means that they can run, they can be run safely multiple times. And if the system is already in the correct state, they do nothing. For example, let us execute an Ansible command which will create a user on the client's machine. So in order to do that, I will use the module user with arguments, the name, which will be newbie, and a UID for this user, and the state which will be present. So if, if I run this command, on my client's machine, which I must also include after the command, after the module, as you can see, we have a change state from this Ansible ad hoc command that we executed because the user was not present on the system and we have a change because the user has been created. If I run again this command on the same hosts, you will see that we will have no change on the client system. As you can see, the color now is green instead of yellow and we only have a success. This is, this is what independent means. Some useful options that you can also use 
with the Ansible add code commands R minus B, which is for the become keyword, is minus U, which is for the user that we want to use in order to execute this command, is minus I, which is for the inventory that we want to use, minus minus become method which can be sudo or su and we can also use become user in order to specify a become user for example root and also ask become pass whether the password will be asked or not in the examination red hat will provide you with some repositories that need to be installed in your system. So you are asked to do this action by using ad hoc commands and especially and uh, bash script. So in order to do that, you should create a bash script and take, for example, the one that I have already created. I have included the bin bus directive and I have included on this script the commands in order to install some RPM keys that will be provided to you and also to install a YAM repository on the system. So in the exercise, you will be asked to install those repositories on the, on the client systems and provide a name, a description, and also the URL for those repositories, which will be given to you from Red Hat. So you should create a bash script and execute it in order to install the repositories on the, on the, on the client systems. Uh, remember that you should always give executable permissions on your script. So I, I should give executable permissions on this ad hoc script and then I should execute the script in order to see that the installation of the repositories is has been done successfully. So in this example, I get an error that I haven't specified the list of the host on which Ansible we run this command. For example, I could have Ansible mean M RPM keys, all or clients, the, 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 you should, you should change this keyword there, the host keyword. So I will go now and edit this keyword in order to include my hosts. For example, uh, for example, let's say clients here and also clients here. And execute the script in order to get the result. You will see that after executing this bus script, we will get a not valid key because the, the path for the key is false. But you will see that the repository is installed successfully. However, this is a false repository and I will go and remove it from the systems.